This is my third screencast for Math Module 3, Lesson 14, and I'm give, going to give you some guidance with the homework word problems. There's only two, and we'll get you started with them. Let's look at this one. We'll read it. Laura bought 8 and 3 tenths yards of ribbon. She used 1 and 2 fifths yards to tie a package and two and one-third yards to make a bow. Joe later gave her four and three-fifths yards. How much ribbon does she have now? Well, let's, let's set up an expression. We'll, we'll just uh, go from start to beginning, starting from left to right. So uh, originally she has eight and three-tenths. And now she used, okay, she used it up, she took it away, one and two-fifths yards to tie a package. And then, she, again, she used and took away two and one-third yards to make a bow. Now, Joe comes along at the end, and he gives her, so she now has more ribbon, and he gives her four and three-fifths yards. Now, let's consider the problems that we did earlier in this lesson. If we are subtracting and then we're adding more back, we can take this add end and we can add it to the menu end. And notice that I have three fifths here. We can easily change three fifths into tenths. So we would be adding like units. So. I'm not going to write it out for you, but we, in essence, will have 8 and 3 tenths plus 4 and 6 tenths, all right? Once we find the sum of that, we're going to subtract 1 and 2 fifths, and again, 2 fifths is easily turned to tenths. Once we do that, we're finally going to have to work with another... A fraction that doesn't work with tenths so well, and that is two and one third. So again, we're going to add four and three fifths, which is four and six tenths, plus eight and three tenths. We will subtract the sum with uh, by one and two fifths, which is the same as one and four tenths. When we find the difference, we'll then subtract two and one third. I hope that uh, sets you up all right. Uh, it really isn't that bad. It's very similar to the things we've done in the past. I've written this out for you. I've told I told you how we could change the order and change our denominators to make this much easier than in the original form. This one is uh, fairly straightforward. Mia bought 10 and 1 ninth pounds of flour. She used 2 and 3 fourths pounds of flour to bake a banana cake and some to bake a chocolate cake. After baking the two cakes, she had 3 and 5 six pounds of flour left. How much flour did she use to bake the chocolate cake? This one lends itself to a tape diagram. So we have the whole. That's the amount of flour she had in the beginning. So that's ten and one ninth. And we have uh, the banana cake where she used two and three fourths. We'll call that the banana cake B. And then she baked a chocolate cake and we don't know how much she used. And finally, she had some flour left over. We'll put an L there. Now, this is very similar to things that we've done in the past. We can either take 10 and 1 ninth and subtract 2 and 3 fourths, then subtract 3 and 5 six, or we can take 10 and 1 ninth and we'll subtract the sum of 2 and 3 fourths and 3 and 5 sixths.
Think of an easy common denominator to work with because if you cross multiply all these or keep multiplying the denominators, you're going to end up with a really big number. I'm going to uh, give you a hand by writing the multiples of 9. We need to find one of these multiples that is divisible by 4 and divisible by 6. So look through these, think about your multiplication facts, and find the common denominator that we can use to get through this whole problem.